Meredith Nicholson is a student-centered, multicultural, wonderful school. We want to make sure there's ownership here. We want the, the community involved. We've struggled and we've worked very hard to get our community, the West Side community involved, as well as other businesses involved in our, in our school and our kids. We bring in the parents to let them know that we are here to help them, not only just their children, we're here to help them as well because we have a lot of ESL uh, students where 85% population is ESL. ESL is English as a second language and it's for students that are coming from other countries or their English is not their first language. And at the beginning of the school year, the parents will fill out what language is spoken at home. And then from that point, if there's another language spoken, then they will be tested for lost links. And then that in turn tells them the level of the teaching that we need to do. At this school, our ESL program, we have ESL teachers for each grade level and we have bilingual assistants for each grade level and we support the instruction. Uh, we have block reading programs where we pull and push in to support the lowest functioning ESL students and then monitor the higher functioning students as well. A lot of our parents uh, do not speak English and so even when it comes to their job applications and stuff, they don't know how to fill them out because they're in English. They, they know to come here and we will also help them. Yeah, who's, who's the loudest? The so Title I, it's different fund of money and, and from it we get more staff in our building, including me. And we work with children who struggle with reading or struggle with math. We will do interventions where we work in smaller groups and that's allotted within the classrooms where they allow time for us to do interventions with those children and they do some type of enrichment activity along that time. We do see a lot of growth with the kids with title. So our school school-wide title, meaning that I'm allowed to come in and work with anyone who's struggling. It's not just one child. So I work with fourth grade a lot this year, for example. So I may be in fourth grade working with a specific group of kids on reading almost every day, but then also incorporate other children within that. Without that program, I think a lot of the kids would fall through the cracks. These kids that struggle just need that little more, that ump to help them get over that hump, and it helps to fund the staffing here. I think each and every one is different in their own right. We learn about every culture, but the beauty is here, we're all one big family, and we accept each other's differences and accept each other's culture, and so we learn from it because it's hands-on. So do we make it a big, huge issue? No. We just know, okay, Brenda's from here, and what did you do? How did you do that? Oh, that's cool. You know, we learn from each other, which is the best way to do it and the best way to do anything in life, I, I believe.